Good Sunday morning. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel with the very latest on the tropics. Just want to give you an update as of the 10 p or 10 a.m. advisory. And again, not has mu not much has changed, but what we are seeing is that Marco is just on the verge of becoming a hurricane in the central Gulf. Now again, the overall path really has not changed much. Still expect landfall Monday, probably late afternoon, moving into the evening hours, and that seems to be just around Grand Isle. Again, you got to remember that the worst of the storm is going to be on that eastern side. Laura looks to be late Wednesday, now possibly Thursday as the overall track has shifted a little bit slightly further towards the west, closer to Lake Charles and maybe even Texas at this point, but it could be a massive storm. And the key here is now is the time to prepare. Notice all the sunny skies in the background. Today is a good day to get that gas. Make sure you got all those supplies ready to go because the rest of the week is going to quickly go downhill. So this is the very latest. We now have a tropical storm warning for East Baton Rouge. East and West Feliciana, Point Capi, Iberville, West Baton Rouge, Livingston, Portions of Tangipaho, St. Tammany, all around the metro New Orleans area underneath a tropical storm warning. All the areas highlighted in that bright red along the coast, hurricane warning. Again, that means we're going to expect possible hurricane force winds within the next 36 hours. Tropical storm force winds within the next 36 hours, a little bit further inland. The area is highlighted in the yellow. That is a tropical storm watch, so expect tropical storm conditions within the next 48 hours. And again, a little bit further west, you can see a hurricane watch just in case if the system does wiggle a little bit. But again, timing wise, there probably isn't going to be a lot of room for fluctuation. You can see right now winds are sustained at 70 with Marco, still a tropical storm, but it only has to get a few miles, just a little bit stronger out there with those winds up to about 75. Then we're going to see a hurricane out in the central Gulf heading north northwest now at about well, 14 miles per hour. As you notice also, Tropical Storm Laura continues to churn across the Dominican Republic and Haiti, producing some very heavy rainfall. Chance for some light threatening flash flooding in the area. Winds now sustained at 50, heading west northwest at 21, but it's still holding together across that mountainous terrain, and then it's going to be making its way across Cuba. If it shifts a little bit further south of Cuba, well, it's got plenty of time to strengthen. And as you see here with the current forecast, still having it going right across Cuba, but notice what happens. By the time it gets into the central Gulf, it quickly upgrades to a category one, a strong tropical or a category one. And then by the time it makes landfall, it could even potentially be a category two storm before pushing in right around the Texas uh, Louisiana line. But you got to remember if it's a larger system at this point, we could be under the gun because we're going to fall underneath that northeastern quadrant. And we really need to see what happens, first of all. With Marco, we could be seeing a ton of heavy rainfall across the area, already seeing some ponding water, and then you get that second surge coming in later in the week with Laura. So Tropical Storm Marco, you can take a look at the current path, and I do want to show you again. Notice on Sunday evening, we're talking a Category 1 storm, so that's later today. Heading into Monday morning, still Category 1 with wind sustained at 75, and then maybe still a strong tropical storm, weaker hurricane, probably just before landfall because it is going to run into a little bit of wind shear just along the northern Gulf Coast, which is good. That's what's going to help to weaken this system at quickly as it moves its way inland. So that's the best scenario that we could possibly have because that doesn't happen obviously with Laura because that wind shear moves on and it gives it plenty of time to strengthen in the central Gulf. Steering winds still keeping it right up the gut for Marco basically. And you can see it here. Marco not changing much. We're talking somewhere around the mouth of the Mississippi, possibly a hair to the west. Laura still kind of shifting a little bit west now, right across the Texas Louisiana line between Lake Charles and maybe about the Houston area, maybe around uh, uh, what is it, Port Arthur area. So again, that is the current concern right now. Again, still a lot of wiggle room as we've got a long way to go with Laura at this point. So we're kind of just focusing right now currently on Marco because there is that potential obviously you see here for some alarming rain totals and that doesn't mean feeder bands if this system sets up as a typical system that you're used to seeing we're going to see a lot of that rainfall just around the center and some very strong winds if it kind of becomes asymmetrical lopsided then we're going to see a lot of that rainfall further east around New Orleans maybe Gulfport maybe Mobile uh, obviously indicated by this map. So we'll have to see what happens with the system as it jogs a little bit further west or if it stays as its current path 
going right towards Grand Isle and Port Fouchon. So again, as you look at your tropical tracker out there, again, the big one is lower on the backside. I just, I'm just letting you know this type of situation has not ever really kind of came about um, because we really need to see what happens first with Marco before we see what develops with Laura on the backside. So a lot can change and that's why you need to stay informed and alert. Follow trusted resources over the next couple of days because we're going to get a lot of information, a lot of information coming from who knows where and a lot of that isn't always the most reliable. So we're going to have a press conference a little bit later on today at 1130. Make sure you tune in. Uh, we're going to be streaming that on our website and also on Facebook. We're also going to have it on our television stations out there. Make sure you download our app, BeOurProud.com. And also, again, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Again, my Twitter handle is at Jesse Gunkel and my Facebook handle is at Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel. And I'm going to try to give you the most information throughout this entire day and as we continue to move through this entire situation, because again, this is not just one day, this is multiple days. We're not gonna be in the clear until probably next weekend. So uh, we're in this for the long haul, and I'm gonna try to guide you through this storm. Again, just make sure you stay informed and stick with us.